Hey everyone, I'm so excited to help you out today. Today we're tackling a common printer problem, those pesky blinking lights. They can be super frustrating, right? Don't worry, we've all been there. It's a universal experience for anyone who owns a printer. When your trusty Epson L805 starts flashing all its lights, it can feel like a five alarm fire. Panic sets in, but stay calm. But fear not, because together, we're gonna get to the bottom of this and have you printing family photos again in no time. Imagine the relief. Now those flashing lights are like your printer's way of saying, excuse me, something's not quite right. It's a cry for help. It could be a little paper jam, which is quite common, a smudge on a sensor, which can easily be cleaned, or maybe something's just gotten a bit out of whack. Printers can be finicky sometimes. The good news is, most of the time, it's an easy fix. You don't need to be a tech genius. We just need to roll up our sleeves, channel our inner tech whizzes, and give our printer a little TLC. It's all about patience and care. Are you ready? Let's dive in and solve this mystery together. First things first, safety first. Before we do anything else, let's make sure our printer is powered off and unplugged. This is super important to avoid any electrical mishaps. We want to work smart, not shocking. Once the power cord is safely out of the way, let's disconnect any other cables attached to our printer. This might include the USB cable that connects to your computer or a network cable if you're printing wirelessly. It's like giving our printer a little break from the digital world. With everything disconnected, we're ready to move on to the next step. Now comes the fun part, let's get that top cover off. The Epson L805 is designed to be pretty user-friendly, so opening it up isn't too tricky. You'll find a few screws on the top and back of the printer. Grab your screwdriver and carefully unscrew them. There might also be a couple of screws hidden inside the printer, usually near where the paper comes out. Once you've removed all the screws, gently lift the top cover and set it aside. Now we've got a clear view of the printer's inner workings. Don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it looks. Section four, cleaning the film and sensor. This is a crucial step to ensure your printer runs smoothly and produces high quality prints. With the printer open, take a peek at the gears and mechanisms inside. These components work together to make your printer function efficiently. Sometimes a small piece of paper or debris can cause a jam disrupting the entire printing process. If you see anything out of place, carefully remove it using tweezers or a similar tool. This will help prevent future jams. Remember, gentle is the name of the game here. Gently wipe the film from side to side, being careful not to scratch it. Next up is the sensor, a small rectangular component usually located near the film. It's crucial for the printer's functionality. It's responsible for detecting the position of the ink cartridges, ensuring they are correctly aligned. Use a can of compressed air or a soft bristled brush to gently remove any dust or debris from the sensor. Keeping the sensor clean is essential for accurate readings. All right, we're making great progress. Now that we've given our printer a little spa treatment, it's time to put everything back together. Carefully lower the top cover back into place, making sure it aligns with the sides of the printer. Secure it by reinserting and tightening all the screws we removed earlier. With the cover securely in place, it's time to reconnect the power cord and any other cables we disconnected earlier. Now comes the moment of truth. Turn on your printer and listen closely. If you hear the familiar whirring sounds of a happy printer, that's a great sign. But we're not done just yet. Let's do a test print to make sure everything is working as it should. Drum roll, please. It's printing time. Get ready to see your printer in action once again. Send a test page or a simple document to your printer. This is the moment of truth. And watch as it hopefully springs back to life, producing crisp, clear prints. If everything looks good, congratulations. You've done a fantastic job. You've successfully diagnosed and fixed your blinking light dilemma. Your printer is back in business. Remember, a little printer maintenance goes a long way. By keeping things clean and well-maintained and addressing any minor issues early on, you can prevent bigger problems down the line. You can keep your Epson L805 humming along happily for years to come. Consistent care ensures longevity. And hey, if you found this helpful, don't hesitate to let us know. 
give it a thumbs up and show your support. Subscribe to my channel for more tech tips and tricks and stay updated with the latest solutions. And don't forget to share this video with a friend who might be battling their own blinking light blues. Spread the knowledge. Helping others can make a big difference. Until next time, happy printing. Keep those printers running smoothly.